Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It's a routine task to copy or move a file from one location on your computer to another. Uh, but when it comes to synchronizing files in one folder with uh, another folder, even on that same computer, well, unless you have the right software, uh, it's not always easy to do. And then uh, the problem is, is that when you need to do it on another machine, well, then you have to have the software on that other machine. But if that other machine is running uh, another operating system, well, then you're going to run into problems. And see, my house is filled with Linux and Mac OS X and Windows, so I really look for cross-platform software to support my particular home network and the, the files and folders uh, that I keep on the home network. And so I'm going to pass along this particular recommendation, something that he stumbled upon uh, just the other day, a file, uh, a, a program, a utility called Synchron, and you spell that S-Y-N-K-R-O-N. More information can be found at Synchron, S-Y-N-K-R-O-N dot S-F dot net. So it's open source. What Synchron will do is after configuring it, and believe you me, the configuration options are definitely uh, plentiful. It's certainly for power users. If you like simple, uh, easy stuff to work with, you know, two buttons, this is probably not for you. But if you're looking for a powerful synchronization tool that will run on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS X, you want Synchron. Again, spell it one more time, S-Y-N-K-R-O-N. Dot sf dot net. So what's the scenario here? Well, first of all, redundancy is always good. When was the last time you ran a backup? It's a good question, right? Well, you want to back up in as many places as possible, especially all of your data that uh, you, you create on your own. It's not necessarily the programs that you've installed, because you could always go in and, and reinstall uh, programs. Uh, but like today, I have a folder of apps on this particular Mac that I wanted to make sure I had the same version of on this Mac, on that Mac, and on another computer as well. So instead of just copying every folder over, I'd have to do that every single time to make sure that they were in perfect sync. So now I'm going to be using Synchron. I'm going to be doing the same thing for some of my other uh, data that is irreplaceable, like photos and whatnot. This is one of the reasons why uh, when I uh, guide people when they need to back up files and when they want to make copies I always make a recommendation of keeping all that stuff in one folder rather than scattered all about your computer because then when you need to back up all you need to do is back up one folder all, to sync all I need to do is just synchronize one particular folder and yes uh, synchron as I said it, the, the list of features kinda goes on and on and on and on in fact there's a, a wiki page dedicated to it um, syncing folders, uh, they've detailed uh, log files, advanced options uh, like synchronizing hidden, hidden files and folders, there's a blacklist, you can propagate deletions, um, don't back up updated files, update existing files only, uh, you can run an analysis, uh, if there's a multi-sync tab, you can schedule uh, synchronizations, separate variables that you can set, uh, it's just amazing how detailed this particular program is and as I pointed out it is fully open source you know with this much power uh, it's it's kind of overwhelming I've been looking for a simple way to synchronize multiple folders or files across the network potentially across operating systems Synchron is probably going to do the job for me now but I'm, I'm continuing to keep my eye out for a smart tool to help synchronize files and folders. This is going to be important. How many computers do you have at home? And when was the last time you backed up? Now you know on, on this particular Mac I am running Time Machine, but sometimes I want to be able to access files and folders uh, it, fr from elsewhere. Or what happens if, if that gets messed up? Well, again, redundancy is a good thing. You know, I, I'd be able to push up to my network storage and I'd be able to push to this computer so I could take it with me. I mean, again, this kind of stuff, as long as it's not super, super sensitive data, you know, you really wouldn't want to uh, copy that more than you uh, would need to. Uh, but again, you know, if you're looking for a good synchronization tool, cross-platform, open source, really, I've not heard of anything 
with this much power. Certainly hadn't seen it. Synchron, and thank you, Toast Paint, for repeating the spelling. And I believe you got it right. Let me double check. S Y N K R O N. Yes, dot S F dot net. So thanks, uh, Mike Smick for passing this tool along. I certainly do appreciate it. I love it when you guys make recommendations for tools. And I mean by tools, whether it's hardware or software or service, sometimes I've never even heard of them before and it was something that I've been looking for but hadn't really asked anybody for until I found it myself. Anyway, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. My email address is chris at perillo.com if you care to pass along any other tips. Uh, when it comes to you know working with technology, home computers, home networks, what have you, doesn't really matter. You're also welcome to join us in our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. You can share your tips there because everybody gets a blog. We've got the forum. You can upload videos, audio files. We've got profiles and ratings and rankings and all sorts of fun stuff that uh, you know is going on. In fact, if I looked at it right now, I guarantee there's some wacky things happening that uh, I probably shouldn't be looking at right now at 2 in the morning. It's 2 in the morning, and I'm recording videos about synchronizing files in the home network. Hmm, am I a geek? No, I'm just an insomniac. So, if you'd like to join in the rest of us insomniacs, you're more than welcome to. We've got this chat room that's open 24 hours a day. And yes, there are people participating it, uh, in this chat room at all times. It's the internet. It's always open, and you're more than welcome to join us. We're typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.